Good morning, everybody. I've got the country ham cooking and biscuits in the oven for country ham and egg biscuits this morning. And we're also gonna make a copycat version of Starbucks caramel apple spice. It's already exciting in here this morning. I don't know if y'all know about this drink. Doesn't have any coffee or anything like that. It's kind of like a so. delicious apple cider is what it's like almost. Here's what we're gonna do. In this pot in the back, I'm gonna go ahead and put some apple juice because we need to steam some apple juice. So I'm just gonna put it on medium back there. We don't know what kind of apple juice they used, so I don't think it really matters. No, it don't really matter as far as apple juice goes. I, I don't know how much we need either. About that much, you think, or a little more? Probably a little more. This is going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to make the cinnamon syrup, because he said that it had a cinnamon syrup in it. So I looked up a recipe for Starbucks copycat uh, cinnamon syrup. So here's what we're going to do here. We need a cup and a half of water. Don't be deceived. She didn't pour nothing in right there. Here yeah, we go. That was a, that was just pretend. pretend. Yeah. Now we're putting in a half a cup of brown sugar, and I went ahead and turned this on to just a little over medium. Probably need to turn this one up actually just a little bit more. Now we need a cup of regular sugar. That ham right there is done, Daddy. If you want to go ahead and the other pack. Yeah. A little bit more water in that pan. That's a country ham tip, y'all. The package doesn't say to if you're cooking it in the skillet. It doesn't say to put water. But if you put a little bit of water, it keeps it from getting too tough. There is nothing like a country ham biscuit. It is salty, but if you want it to not be as salty, you can soak it in warm water for a little bit before you cook it, but we like I wouldn't do that. I'd just keep it salty and put it on some egg and cheese, buddy, and you'll be smiling when you walk out the door. Okay, so we're just stirring that up to let that sugar melt. Where is the cinnamon for this cinnamon syrup? Right there, cinnamon sticks. So we're going to drop in four cinnamon sticks and then this is going to sit here and cook like simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes. We're going to take out the cinnamon sticks now. We're going to put in a tablespoon of vanilla. All right, and that's it. That is our cinnamon syrup. All right, I'm just going to pour this into another little container right now until I figure out what I want to put it in. Now we take our steamed apple juice and we're going to put it into here. All right, there's the apple juice. Now we need the cinnamon syrup. And all you do now is put whipped cream on top. and then caramel drizzle. And that's it. That is the caramel apple spice. Now I'm gonna put a little uh, chocolate. Oh, he wants to. <laughs> sprinkles on top of mine. Tell me if it's like Starbucks. Might be really hot. <laughs> That's really close. Needs more cinnamon. I don't know. That's really close. I'm telling you, that's, that's good. All right, I got the kitchen cleaned up, all the dishes washed. Now, I'm having some of the caramel apple spice, but mine's actually not caramel. I don't like the whipped cream and the caramel on top of it. I like it better without. So, I just have the apple juice with a little bit of the cinnamon syrup, and I wanted to show y'all. We made probably, Titus had some, Jonah had some. I had some. The other kids didn't want to try this. They don't really love like hot apple juice, apple cider and all that. They didn't want to try it. So this is how much syrup we have left. And this is enough to make several more of these drinks. So if you do decide to make it and don't know if you want to, you know, have this much syrup, maybe cut that syrup recipe in half. And I couldn't find my little top. It's somewhere around here. I just saw it the other day. But I just covered it with some foil. I'm going to stick it in the refrigerator. 
And then when we want to make this again, all we have to do is steam the apple juice and then add the syrup. It's really good though, y'all. I mean, even just the apple juice with the cinnamon syrup is so good. It just tastes kind of like a cinnamon apple cider. So now the kids are getting ready to start school. I gotta go help Cece with her hair. I'm gonna see if Manly's ready for his nap. If not, then I'll get him some little toys to play with while we go ahead and get started. He's usually, he's been awake for quite a while this morning, so he should be ready to go to sleep. It is many hours later now, three o'clock in the afternoon. Manly's talking about some pepperonis right now. We just got back from picking up our grocery order from Walmart. I have not done a Walmart grocery haul in a couple of weeks. Three weeks, I think it's been three weeks since my last Walmart grocery haul. Because the week before Thanksgiving, I went to Ingalls to do the grocery haul because they had the turkey deal and I just shopped what they had on sale there. And last week I didn't even need to do a grocery haul. So, Cece is very excited because there are fun holiday baking things in here. Manly's excited. He's trying to pull everything off the table. Ooh, what is that? This is Cece's favorite thing in the grocery haul. She wants to show y'all. It's a candy decorating kit. So we have little carrots for snowman noses, eyes, little bow tie. That's gonna be fun. You can do Christmas trees or snowmen with those. Manly found a lemon. What is that? He knows he gets to pick something. Let's see what he wants to pick, Cece. I tried to give him a raspberry a minute ago and he wasn't having that. He didn't like that raspberry. What you want? Y'all know what he's gonna go for. There it is. Boom. Oh, two of them. <laughs> he went over to his high chair with his yogurt like, somebody put me in. You want that yogurt? Hand it to mama, we'll open it. You wanna open it? It is so cute how they get into a routine. Like he knows when the grocery haul is going down that there's a yogurt for him in there. Say yay. All right, y'all, we're about to jump into the grocery haul, but before that, I've got to tell y'all something. So today is the day that Dunkin' Donuts started their sugar plum macchiato drink, okay? I was very excited about it because you know, sugar plum sounds really good, but then I was wondering how is that gonna be with coffee? What's that gonna be like? I know now what it's like. And I'm here to warn you, don't get it. Here's what's left of mine, but at the beginning it was really pretty. When they first hand it to you, it's purple on the bottom and it looks really pretty. But yeah, when you take that first sip, it don't taste pretty. I'm gonna taste it now that it's had time to mix up together some and see if anything's changed. I'm doing this for y'all. No, I don't know. It could very well be possible that they did not make mine right. I've had that happen before at Dunkin' Donuts. So that could be what's going on, but I'm not willing to chance that again. <laughs> Whenever I first tasted it, it seriously took my breath away and not in a good way. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's really like a really fake fruity taste. It's almost like a medicine tasting thing. It's just, mm -mm. like right now, I feel like I just took some cough medicine and drunk a sip of coffee behind it. That's what I'm feeling right now. All right, let's get on to the grocery haul. We have some hamburger buns. One night, I'm gonna do Sloppy Joe's, and on another night, we're gonna do some of the grilled chicken sandwiches, the Smokehouse Barbecue copycat ones that we make from um, like Chick-fil-A's. That's what we're gonna have a couple nights this week. And then I got some more of this Pepperidge Farm farmhouse white bread. We still have a couple of loaves of bread in the freezer. We have some celery sticks, lemons, peppers. I got some raspberries and some blue, uh, blackberries, lettuce, and baby spinach, a 10 pound bag of potatoes, bananas. They don't look too pretty on the outside, but they're still good. They're still firm. Like they're not bad. <laughs> a cantaloupe. I got two packs of flour tortillas, one pack of the medium size and one pack of the large. So if we wanna make our burritos that we wanted to make the other night, the breakfast burritos, we have tortilla shells now. I got a bag of these sweet potatoes, y'all. These are the best sweet potatoes in this bag. I don't know what, I guess the brand is, I don't know, Simply Perfect Premium Sweet Potatoes. Got a bag of those, got a bag of onions, some peppers back there. <laughs> Y'all, Sissy thinks this is so funny. She helped me get the groceries out and she was like, bologna, another bologna, another bologna? <laughs> I accidentally ordered three packs. I thought that they, I thought they accidentally gave me two extra, but no, it was me. Uh, I'm not sure how I did that. I'm happy. I love bologna. Yeah, she sandwiches. does. She does love bologna sandwiches. So she's happy and we're, 
well stocked on bologna for a while. I got some orange juice. This was a substitution. I ordered the smaller one and they didn't have those, so they gave me the bigger carton of it. We got two gallons of milk, one gallon of chocolate milk, some apple juice, and buttermilk back there. Okay, here's a fun holiday thing. Gingerbread kit, and it makes a mini village. That is adorable. I was yeah. excited when I saw it, because we do, you know, gingerbread houses, but I thought making the little village would be so fun. So you eat them? Yeah, you can eat them after you decorate them, but it makes four little houses. So cute. I love decorating things. Me too. That's going to be fun. And I also saw one at Tractor Supply that I'm going to get for the kids, so we'll probably do these on the same night. We'll do the mini village, and there's a barnyard one at Tractor Supply that I'm going to get, and I think it's $10 at Tractor Supply. So that's going to be our gingerbread house slash mini village barn building this year. Okay, Cece wants to show y'all this. We're going to mix this grocery haul up. We went over there, now we're going to come here, and then we'll go to the middle. Popcorn, she's excited about that. They love that white cheddar, and that's the brand of it. I was telling y'all about it the other day. Smart Food is the brand of it. That's their favorite white cheddar popcorn. Then we just have some shampoo. Some of the fam needed new toothbrushes, so I just got a pack of toothbrushes down there. They were also starting to run low on pencils already, so I got another pack of pencils and a, and a pencil sharpener. I got some trash bags, and they finally had my favorite dish detergent back in. This is the same price as the Ajax. Well, it might be like 10 cents more. I think the Ajax is $1.88, and this is $1.98. But this smells so good, y'all. It's the palm olive, lavender, and lime. But they don't have it in stock very often. They finally got it in. This looks really fun. So you can make cookies in here and it makes them into these shapes with the little faces and designs and all. And then you decorate them. This was only $6. Uh, maybe like $6 and some change. I ordered the little cherry things again that the kids and Titus liked. Um, I think it's when we did the Ingalls haul. They really loved those. But they didn't have them in stock so they substituted for the birthday cake little cakes and they've never tried those before. I got some of the lime LaCroix. I got the kids some of this uh, Capri Sun. Oh I'm not even look look at this y'all. <laughs> I got the kids some of this Capri Sun juice. A big pack of all-purpose flour. Some of the kids requested these Uncrustables. Again they haven't had them in a while so I got the box of 10 with the peanut butter and strawberry. Two of the little turkey pot pies and three packs of the pepperoni and cheese Greg Value Hot Pockets. They love those. Cool Whip. I went ahead and got two things of it. It's on rollback right now at Walmart. The name brand is for a dollar. So I got two of those. I got a big pack of ground beef. This is a four and a half pound pack. We have some mesquite smoked turkey for sandwiches. Bacon. Sausage. Pepperoni. The Leaning Tower of Bologna. A box of corn dogs for lunches. Let's see. I think that's, oh yeah, the yogurt. I got a big pack, well not a big pack, but a four pack of the Vanilla Great Value and a four pack of the Mixed Berry. And then we have the whips, of course. I got two cherry cheesecake and two key lime. I also, yeah, mainly ate one of the key lime. I also ordered four of the orange cream because they told me that's their favorite now, but they didn't have those in stock, so we didn't get those. I got this little pack of the yogurt pouches, two packs of cream cheese, and some unsalted butter. I still have plenty of salted butter, but I needed some unsalted for some recipes, so we got that. Cheese down here. I got a pack of the Colby Monterey Jack Q This cheese, the great value, for the 8-ounce block is the same price as the 8-ounce packs. So I just went ahead and got the packs this time. Uh, the cubed kind, shredded kind, and then I got a one-pound pack of mozzarella. I got some eggs, food coloring. Here comes some more of the fun stuff. Cece already showed y'all this little decorating kit. And then we also got these sprinkles. Look how cute. There's Christmas tree ones, little candy ones. Then we have this edible glitter gel. I think that's going to be really fun when we decorate cookies to have the glitter gel on them. And this year, I'm just going with the cookies. I think that we made these last year. It might have been the year before, but I'm pretty sure it was last year where we make the sugar cookies and we do the dipping, uh, like we dip them into the frosting with this rich and creamy vanilla. I got three things of it because I couldn't remember last year if we needed two or three. So I went ahead and got three, but you just, you know, you heat this up in the microwave, you color it whichever color you want to color it, and when your cookies are done, you just dip them into the frosting and it makes it like a really pretty glazed sugar cookie. And I got another box of the sugar and spice muffin and quick bread mix because Titus and the kids keep reminding me that they loved the little sugar and spice muffins. So we got that and I think that's everything.
oh wait no a classic white cake mix back here this is for a cookie video that i have coming up next week that's a collab with some very fun people so make sure y'all be looking for that and then we have pringles and lay stacks sour cream and onion oh and the cereal i am forgetting a lot of stuff did i already say this we have bow tie pasta shells tea bags and then the cereal this week i got pops and the great value frosted flakes we got some of these little diced peaches some grands biscuits and i ordered one pack of crescent rolls but they didn't have them so they substituted for the two pack yeah. now i think that is everything all right y'all so that's gonna be it for today's video we're gonna put these groceries away and then get started on supper which I think is going to be really good. So y'all make sure to come back tomorrow for that. It's Vlogmas Day 2 today. Did you find Rudolph in today's video? Do you know where Rudolph's hidden at today? You do? Do you know where he was? The closer we get to Christmas, the harder it is to find Rudolph. We start out hiding him kind of easy, in easy places, but the closer and closer we get, it gets harder and harder to find him. All right, y'all, so that's it for today's video. We love y'all, and we'll see y'all tomorrow.